So every once in a while, when I'm putting Oliver to sleep at night, I'm laying there, I'm waiting for him to sleep because he, um, he sleeps with us. So we put him to bed first. Sometimes I'll get up and like do other stuff like mess around in my bathroom or watch a movie or whatever. Um, so sometimes when I'm waiting for him to go to sleep, I have like video ideas, I just get them. So last night I'm laying there and I don't know, the alphabet <laughs> just like pops into my head and I'm like, ooh, you know what would make a good video series that would last a long time and would be, my kids playing out there, um, would yield quite interesting results is if I pick makeup products based on the letters of the alphabet. So starting with the letter A. <laughs> um, I thought about starting with the numbers, you know, like doing numbers. So like, um, let me, let me explain this first. So, I mean, it's probably very obvious. Um, I went through all of my collection and I looked for things, uh, the names of products specifically, not like the brands necessarily, but like the name of the product. So like the Ilia uh, multi-stick in the shade A Fine Romance starts with the letter A. Um, there were some things that I don't, you know, I have to take liberties with because I don't have, you know, a foundation that has a, a brand that starts with the letter A. Um, so we've got the Pacifica Alight foundation in the shade 33 NL. So um, where I can, I've picked things that have names beginning with the letter that's happening this week. Pugsley's up here because there's a sponge up here and he's obsessed with my sponges. Um, but in other cases where I like, I don't have something that starts with the letter A. So like, I don't have a bronzer in the shade A. So I'm using my Alima Pure bronzer, you know, something like that. Um, and there are things I've got, you know, there's some, some things I have a lot of shades in the letter A, like highlighters, I have four. Didn't realize that. I guess that's a popular letter for highlighters. Um, and then some things I only have like one. But anyway, this will yield interesting results because um, it's, it's basically a way for me to do a series while also like shopping my stash and not like adding products to my collection, but sort of like using what I have, because in a lot of cases it'll help me, this will, you know, this will give me opportunity to use things that I haven't used before, like the Pacifica Love Stone palette. I only have a very small number of shadows um, in all of my collection that start with the letter A. This one has two. So it's got Amethyst and Aquamarine. I also have the Gressa um, Ario Eye Tint. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use that um, just because I have the Love Stoned one. And then I do have two, I do have two Prisma palette shadows um, with the letter A. One is Agave, um, which is this shade right there. And then the other is Apricot which is that shade right there, right? It is. Um, but neither of those really go with the only blush that I've got that starts with the letter A. So I think we're just going purple. This might end up sort of looking like a very fall vampy kind of look is sort of where I think it's gonna go. Actually, I also have a lot of um, lipsticks that <laughs> start with the letter A. So I've got, I've got that many in there. So we're gonna see where this takes us. I don't know. I thought this could be fun. But yeah, and then I thought about starting it uh, starting it with like numbers. I may do a numbers one down the line, um, but there are too many products that I don't have anything that have like a number on it. Um, you know, like a lot of foundation shades sometimes are like, you know, numbers. This one is 33 NL. Um, you know, Cloven Hollow does theirs by numbers. Um, but like blush, I don't, oh, well, the, the Kosas 8th Muse. I mean, so that's an option. But um, I think I only have like two eyeshadows that are possibilities. Like there's one in one of the Ilia palettes. That's I think like 1976. And then there's the 333 from Kosas. Um, I think the only place I was stuck was like lip because I don't have any lip products that have like a number on them. So I may do that one somewhere down the line if I can find a lip product that has like a number or something. But we're starting with A. Um, and this also works out too, because the Skylar perfume this month is, uh, it starts with A, Amber Muse. So I figured I could also put that on since it's, you know, appropriate. So I hope that we enjoy this little series that I'm beginning. It'll definitely get interesting when we get to letters like Y or Z or W. <laughs> um, Cause I don't know how many of those things that I've got. So yeah, this wasn't, 
I, I thought of this idea last night. Um, has it been done before? Probably. I didn't look up any videos um, because I like to think in my head that sometimes I'm like the first person to think of things, even though that's probably not the case. <laughs> um, so yeah, I didn't, I didn't go search this out there. It might be out there. I, I haven't seen anybody do it like in Green Beauty, but it's possible that it's out there in conventional. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see where this goes. So we're starting uh, with primer because um, this is a foundation I actually haven't used yet. So I don't know how it works. So this will also be fun. It'll be sort of like an experiment of like, you know, products I haven't used that much or very or at all or, you know, things like this where I have this but haven't had an opportunity to use it. So it's like a series and it's like a shop my stash at the same time. I mean, I thought it was fun. So this is the Alima Pure Smooth and Prime. So a Alima Pure. And you know, I think it, it, it goes without saying that a lot of these things over the course of this series will get repeated like foundations because I don't have, you know, 26 different foundations. So it's possible that, um, you know, some foundations will get uh, repeated along the way. But, you know, I hope I hope the other things, I hope, you know, I think shadows, shadows wise, um, you'll see, you won't see the same thing over and over again. I mean, you might, you'll see different shades. Like maybe when we get to, uh, you know, L, there's this lapis color that's really pretty. Um, so that was the primer. Okay, so I've got two different brushes. I don't know the best, well, I've got one brush. I have a flat top brush and I've got a, beauty blender. So I'll probably try this with the beauty blender first. So this is the Pacifica A Light foundation. Starts with A. Because I don't have any brands. Um, well, or I don't have any. So it's not brands necessarily. I, because I, I have a Lima Pure, but I use a Lima Pure a lot. So I wanted to do something different. And I'm sorry if you can hear my child out there. He is playing with his Legos. We're doing a a screen-free day, so um, it's gonna be noisy. But yeah, so I wanted to do something different because you guys, have, you see the Alima Pure all the time on my channel, so I wanted to do, I wanted to pick something I haven't really used before. So this is the Alight Foundation. So this is the Pacifica one. It's oil-free, anti-shine, and satin finish. And again, my shade is 33 and L, which I think is their like light neutral shade. And I'm just doing it with the beauty blender, obviously. <laughs> I had this beauty blender out when I did the, um, the EXA foundation and Pugsley, for whatever reason, is obsessed with my beauty blenders. So he'll like watch me. He's in the other room, I think. He watches me to see where I put them so he can go find them later. So he was like all in my drawers. I had to hide it in like three different spots because he kept finding it. Something has a scent or maybe it's my perfume. <laughs> It might be my perfume. <gasps> There's Jesse. That's actually it looks really pretty. Oh, I have this. I don't know if this is like a mole that I've always had and I just never noticed, or if this is something like some weird zit thing happening over here. <laughs> he's playing with his Lego train, so he's like looking for something specific. I could close the door, but then he'll just come right in here. So it is what it is. So this is the Pacifica Alight Foundation. I actually like it. I didn't really know what to think. Sometimes when I'm like afraid to use stuff, or like when I don't know what it's gonna look like, I'm like, I don't use it and I just let it sit there, but that's actually really nice. That's got really good coverage. I 
looks really nice. I mean, I look really shiny because of these lights. I should try to see if I can find some sort of um, like a soft, like a soft cover. You know, like soft boxes have like a cover on them. I don't know if maybe that would help take down the shine at all, but worth a try. But I really liked that actually. And I liked it with the sponge. I didn't even need to use the uh, foundation brush that I've got, but I am going to pull out a concealer brush for concealer. So I have the Alima Pure Cream Concealer in Dream. So I figured I would use this since I haven't, um, I haven't played with it too much on camera. Plus you guys always see the uh, powder concealer. You guys always see that. But I didn't have any other concealers where the actual shade name started with an A. And I figured since this wasn't one that I've really used all that much, um, it'd be good to pull this one out. So I'm just gonna do a little bit like around the eye. It's got decent coverage. I mean, you can see it from one eye to the other. Ooh. Let's try it on some spots. I'll probably go over um, them with a beauty blender as well, just to sort of like really get it good and um, good and blended in. I do have a few really bad spots right now where I'm breaking out, like over here, and then here is a really big one. I think if I had to choose between the powder Alima Pure Concealer or the cream, I would definitely choose the powder. I just like the powder concealer. Cream concealers, it's really hit or miss whether they're going to crease or not, so I'll have to keep you guys updated if this one does. I'm gonna try to set it pretty quickly after we're done, um, but it may crease. So we'll see. So there's looking real shiny under the eyes there. We'll take care of that though. So there's that. There's the concealer. So now let's take a brush. We're gonna do the 14E um, aloe nourish prime and set so that one there's an a in the name there I'm just gonna do that one under the eyes and sort of like around the nose because I'm gonna do a different setting powder for the rest of my face so let's go under the eyes with this one I know a ton of people love this one I still don't really know how I feel about it yet because it is super super fine and it almost feels like too silky, like on the face. I'm trying to take down as much of the shine under there as I can. I think that, that did a good job. So that's the setting powder, aloe. And then the other setting powder I'm going to do is the Alima Pure Radiant Finishing Powder in Augusta. They actually did just release a bunch of new shades in the Radiant Finishing Powder that are um, much darker. So I actually, I was looking at the Alima Pure Foundation cause you know, they've always had like a lot of shades, but I haven't really started looking at like the distribution of shades and like um, until recently, like seeing like how, do, do they have an equal amount of like dark versus light? And Alima Pure has like 60 shades of foundation, but they're all, actually more geared towards light, medium, tan. There's not very many deep, deep shades. So I definitely feel like that's a place where they need to work on. Um, but they, they must know that because they released um, some deeper shades of their Radiant Finishing Powder. They only had like light and medium shades before, but they released, I think like five new shades and all of them towards the, the medium to deep end. So we'll 
see, I'm just gonna powder this one on. So the Augusta one, it's it almost, I don't know if that leans sort of like rose, rose gold. While I'm editing, I'll uh, look up the shade description and I'll pop it on the screen here. But it shouldn't change my, um, but I was when I found this last night, I wasn't sure how much it was gonna change uh, the color of my complexion. It looks a little, it looks like it's rosy it up a little bit, which I'm not sure how I feel about that. But it's nice, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. So, what do we think? So that's the foundation, concealer, finishing powder. I mean, I like the I like the finish of that finishing powder. It doesn't look like oily, but it looks like radiant, like it suggests. I do have another shade. I actually think um, I'm pretty sure it's down here. Yeah, the Olympia one. This one is more. I think this one must be the fair one. This one must be the light one because you can see this one is darker, but it almost leans more rosy. I closed the door, but it's still very loud. That's all right. You guys get it. Okay. So next, let's do bronzer. I mean, I only have one bronzer, so it is what it is. This is the Alima Pure bronzer, but it's in the shade Maracaibo. So I didn't want to go um, super dark and bronzy just because I didn't really know where this foundation look was going, so I grabbed the lighter of the two. So we're just going to do a gentle, a gentle bronzing of the face, because I don't even know that I really, I really probably don't even need it with that finishing powder, because I feel like that almost bronze up my face a little bit. We're just gonna do. <laughs> Every time I uh, tap my brush, Oliver gets upset and tells me to stop making noise. So I don't actually know how much that did. I didn't want it to do a lot, so I didn't want it to be super noticeable. Because I do, I feel very, I feel very dark all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, I hope that foundation doesn't oxidize. I guess we'll find out, right? But I know that finishing powder was some of it. We don't look terrible though, do we? I mean, we look okay. I feel like I look different in the viewfinder then. Okay, so should we do, let's do brows. So I have the um, Ara Perez Almond Brow Pencil. <laughs> Um, and they only have one shade. It's in the shade Perfect, which is not, pff, it's not a perfect shade for everybody. So naming the shade Perfect does not make any sense to me. Um, Era Perez just added, I think, three more shades to their Quinoa foundation. Though I wish they had done it with their Oat Milk foundation first, because I, I feel like the Quinoa foundation is not as well liked as the Oat Milk Foundation, I definitely prefer the Oat Milk Foundation to the Quinoa Water Foundation. So hopefully that means they're gonna do some, uh, you know, new shades with the Quinoa, or no, the Oat Milk, the Oat Milk Foundation. I mean, so this, this shade of uh, eyebrow pencil is perfect for me, but it would not be perfect for someone who's got um, you know, like black, black hair, for instance. It's very soft, too. And I don't do anything crazy with my eyebrows. I just fill in anywhere where there's like a spot. Because I don't like the look of like bald, bald eyebrows. Just take a little spoolie real quick. While I think about this, though there really isn't much to think about, it's just kind of figuring out where I want to go with this. I mean, I do want to use the Pacifica palette 
because I had thought originally that I would just use the Gressa Oreo um, eye tint and just like some mascara and call it a day and like, like but I kind of want to be adventurous and play with the Pacifica shadows, but like I'm afraid of what this is going to look like in the end. And I did kind of want to try to film some more videos after this, but if I look atrocious, ah, a atrocious. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. So this is the all natural face, uh, vegan eyeshadow, vegan primer, vegan magic eye primer. I only have two different eye primers. I have the Ilia one and I've got this one. So hopefully we have enough letters in here to get us through the alphabet. <laughs> There's no Z, so whatever Z I find, it's just gonna have to go primerless. Uh, yeah, so we've got um, the Ilia A Fine Romance. I mean, this should match with these, right? Because this is purple. But then there's like the lips. How vampy am I going? And then I don't know. So I'll show you the highlighters I have. So we have the Alchemy from Alima Pure, which is a rose gold, but I don't, do I really want to go there again? I mean, a lot of these are rose gold. For some reason, all the rose golds are named A. I have the Powder Highlighter in Aura from All Natural, which is another rose gold shade. I have um, the Liquid Light Serum Highlighter in Atomic from Ilia, which is another pink shade. The only one I have that's not pink, <laughs> um, here's a swatch of this, this one. This is the Alima Pure one. Maybe this one, I might do the Alima Pure one. It, it doesn't look too bad, but then I've got the After Hours highlight of the day from Maya Chia, which I do like, but that's more like bronzy. So maybe, I'm, maybe I am going like pink here. So maybe I'm gonna stick to the Alima Pure one. Okay, so we're gonna put some of this on the cheeks. Oh, I can do Beauty Blender with this. This is a fine, a fine romance. I haven't used this one before. I mean, a lot of these things are, are actually, well, not a lot of them. So what is new? I used the Augusta, that was new. The Augusta finishing powder. I'm using a fine romance, that's new. The Alight foundation. Well, they're new in the sense that I haven't used them, but I bought them ages ago. I mean, I do like this. So this will be like a good way for me to shop my stash. Use what I've got, get creative. I don't wanna to go too blush heavy, but I want it to be like noticeable too. I want it to be there. Should I do it like more on the apples? Just so it's... <laughs> All right, I think that's probably, that's probably okay. I'm gonna save the highlighter until after I do my eyes. So what I figure I'm doing is amethyst all over, which is the matte light purple, and then aquamarine sort of in like the inner corner, that area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and uh, speed it up. So you guys don't have to watch. Here, do you wanna see the, I'll, I'll just watch them for you. So you can see, I mean, you'll see, you'll see in a minute. So that's that. I mean, those, those colors go together, right? Even if they don't, <laughs> they're going together now. So I'll zoom in so you can watch and I'll just speed through. I'll speed through the eyeshadow. put makeup on you. Okay, so there's amethyst. It's a pretty color, does it match? Not really. <laughs> we got what we got. So now we're doing aquamarine in like the inner corner part and then like 
the inner, just the inner part. <laughs> I could feel the glitter like falling down my face in this. There's a lot of fallout with this shade. I wonder if it's like meant to be used with your finger. I don't know. It's got a pretty shift though. Can you guys see the shift? You can like really see it in like the inner corner. You see that? I talk like uh, you guys can respond to me. <laughs> Ooh, that one was like Fallout City. So that is the eyes. What do you think? I mean, I think it turned out pretty. Does it match with like the cheek? The lips are gonna be very interesting, I think, because um, I really don't know what lip to pair with this. So let's do mascara. So those were the two shades from the Pacifica Love Stoned palette. I haven't played with any of the other shades yet, but we've got other, you know, other chances too in here. We've got B, R T G L E P M C O. We'll pull it out maybe at least one other time. So the mascara that I've got is the Ilia After Midnight mascara, which is good because I actually I love this mascara. So I'm glad that I was able to find one that had an A. So I always do the uh, the volumizing side first, and then once I do the other eye. To let the first eye dry, then I go back and I do the lengthening side of the mascara brush. It's really growing on me. <laughs> I feel like this always happens when I do like an eye look that's uh, out of my normal. Do I even have a normal anymore? Because I've been experimenting a lot this summer. Out of what I used to do, you know, like normal from what I used to do. Okay, so that's the eyes. Completed. I really like it. Okay, so now let's do the highlighters. This is Alchemy, Alima Pure Alchemy. This is their cream, cream highlighter, which I think I've used the other one on camera. I haven't used this one yet. I do like their highlighters because they're, they're pretty subtle actually. They're not like sparkly in your face. but they have a nice reflection. Look at that, look at that. Okay, so lastly is lips and I really don't know what to do. So here's what we got. We have the Ficlo Aw. <laughs> The AU from the Beautiful Collection. Um, we have the new Nui Cosmetics and Amira, which I know I'm not using. That does not go with this at all. So that's a no. This one is also a no. This is the uh, Psyche, Cloven, Cupid and Psyche in Artemis. That's a no. There's also Cupid and Psyche in AOIFE, Offy maybe. That's a no. That's a no. What is he doing? Was he reading over there? <laughs> what are you reading over there? Peanut butter and cupcake. <laughs> we have the All Natural Lipstick in Ambition. That's what that one looks like. Let's put that one to the side because that's a maybe. We have Red Apple Lipstick in Audrey. That one could work. Let me swatch the AU shade because I don't remember what that one looked like. We could do that too. I might end up doing that because I tend to do a gloss um, Appley Ever After, which is more of a red shade, so that's a no. 
There's two Fit Glow lipsticks, Adore and Aura, which I think are both pretty vampy shades. So this one is Aura, which is a little darker than I want to go. And then Adore, which again is darker than I want to go. The last two are 100% Pure in Aubergine. Again, dark. And then Amber Light from Ilia, which is one of my favorites. All right, so which of these four? So Amber Light, nope, this one is Amber Light. That one is Audrey. That one's the All Natural Lipstick. I don't think, not, I don't think that one. So I think it's gonna be either, oh, it's not this one, so let's put these away. Should we just go gloss? I keep it wearable. <laughs> 90, like 8% of the time, if I have to choose between like a lipstick and a Fit, a fit Glow lip serum, I'm picking a lip serum. <laughs> I think that goes, right? Does that go? How did this turn out? What do you think? All right, so that's the end of it. That's how it turned out. Leave me your honest thoughts. <laughs> Leave me a describing word that you would call this look that starts with the letter A. <laughs> so let's all bust out our thesauruses and um, try, to, try to think. I mean, I, I actually do really like, I really like the eyes. I probably would have never done that if I hadn't been, um, you know, forced to use only eyeshadows that start with the letter A. But I like it. I like to do that though. I like to do that like sort of extra like inner corner with like a highlighting shade. I really like to do that, that technique. And this, it worked out with these colors. So let me know what you think, what you thought of this experiment, what you think of this series. Um, if you liked how it turned out, if it, if it indeed is atrocious. Honest thoughts, guys, honest thoughts. Um, give it a thumbs up if you really liked this and can't wait to see the letter B. And if you know of any lipstick shades or other makeup that starts with a number, um, so not foundation, not concealer, um, really just lip, lip color. Because I think I've got everything else Lip color and bronzer. If you know of any lip colors or bronzers that start with like a number, just let me know. Cause um, I kind of would like to do this with a number, you know, with the numbers, uh, maybe somewhere down the line in the middle. If, uh, if I can find some products with, um, you know, shade names that have numbers. But I'm excited to see where this goes, how each look turns out. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. B for bye. <laughs> or should I have said A, au revoir? Does that start with A? I hope it does, otherwise I just look like a real fool. <laughs>